Hello Grade 1s, welcome to this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. If you have any questions, you can send an email to the address on the screen now. Grade 1 at worksheetcloud.com My name is Teacher Dai, and I'm really glad that you've joined me today. Today we're going to do a very exciting lesson. It's called The Wonderful World of Shapes. And today we're going to be discussing all kinds of shapes. Now the focus of the lesson isn't so much to learn the names of all of the shapes, although I think lots of you will be able to. The focus is to just wonder at shapes. So when you finish this lesson, I want you to be able to walk around your house and say, wow, I've never noticed that was a prism before. That was a sphere. That was a rectangle. I want you to be excited about shapes by the end of this lesson. Okay, let's get started. The world of shapes. We're going to go over some that we've already talked about in other lessons. Can you remember? What's this shape called? It's perfectly round, but it's flat. It's a circle, that's right. We get all sorts of circles around us. Here's a clock with a circle face. Here's a polka dot dress. Polka dots are circles. Another polka dot notepad. Even these cat's glasses are circles, and circles are perfectly round. Good. Here's a shape, but it's a 3D shape. It looks a little bit like a circle, but it's completely round and it could bounce around. I wish I could show you in real life. On the screen it looks a bit flat, but if you were here with me now, I could hold it in my hand. This shape is called a sphere. Do you remember? We said if you can't say that word sphere, you could always cheat a little bit and say Sophia. <laughs> like Sophia the first. Do you want to try that? Sophia. That's for sphere. It's a math shape. It's a lot like a circle, but it's 3D, which means you can look around it, in front of it, pick it up. It's a ball shape. In grade R, you would have called this a ball shape. But now that we're grade ones, we know the fancy word is sphere. And if we look around us, we see all kinds of spheres. A bubble is a sphere. Marbles are spheres. Soccer balls. Bouncy balls. I bet if you look around you right now, you will see some spheres around your house. After this lesson, I want you to try, okay? And we also said what will happen if a sphere rolls down a hill. Oh! I gave it away. <laughs> if I put a sphere on the top of a hill, what will happen? It will roll. That's right. Because it's round. So it rolls. Okay, here's another shape. It's a 2D shape. That means it's a flat shape. And what do you call this one? It's a square. Right, it's got four sides that are equal. They are the same. And four corners then we know that it's a square. If you look around you, you can see the tiles on your floor might be square, the um, pictures in your house, you might have a frame that's square, and even the numbers on your keyboard, if you look down, the letters and the numbers on your keyboard are in little squares, at least mine are. They look like the one on the screen now. There are squares all around us. Have a look at this shape, it's actually made up of squares. Do you remember what we called this? In grade R you called it a box shape, but now in grade 1 we know the fancy word is cube. That's right, it's a cube. It's made up of squares. It has six sides of exactly the same little squares. And if you look around you, you'll see these squares. You could see it on a Rubik's cube, on a dice, maybe a present that you've got, or some blocks if you've got a younger sibling around the house. So we've talked about squares, and now we know the 3D partner for a square is called a cube. It's okay if you still call it a box shape. It is a box shape. But if you can remember the fancy word, that's even better. Now if we put a cube on a hill, what will happen? It will slide. Right, if a shape has a flat side, it will slide. So a sphere rolled. A cube slides. Good. Now, do you remember this 2D shape? 
It's a lot like a square, but it's got long sides, two long sides, and two short sides. So straight away we can see it's not a square because the important thing about a square is all the sides are the same. And this 2D shape does not have the same sides. It's a rectangle. That's right. A rectangle. Two long sides, two short sides, and it's a 2D flat shape. Look around you. What can you see that's a rectangle? Computer or TV screen? Maybe a notebook or a cell phone near you. Those are all rectangles. Now I want to teach you a new shape today that's got rectangles in it. We've spoken about a cube that's made up of squares. But I want to show you this shape that is made up of rectangles. And it is called, are you ready, rectangular prism. Do you see the word rectangle in there? Rectangular prism. Now the word prism is a new word for many of us. It really just means a box shape. So in grade R you may have called this a box shape and in grade 1 you will start to call it a prism. You get lots of different kinds of prisms actually. This one is called a rectangular prism because it's got rectangle sides. Let's have a look at some rectangular prisms that are around you and me. <gasps> look at this truck. Do you see the back? It's a rectangular prism. This is what I mean about wondering at the world we live in. Once you start to notice shapes, you'll never stop. Did you ever notice before that this truck has a rectangular prism box shape on the back of it? What about this, a cereal box? Did you have some cereal or oats this morning? I bet you didn't notice, but now you will. The box is in the shape of a rectangular prism. Wow, that's so cool. And if you put a rectangular prism on a hill, what do you think will happen? Remember I said if it has a flat side, it will slide. Awesome. It doesn't roll. It's got flat sides, not round sides. So it slides. Let's say that word one more time. Rectangular prism. Don't worry if you can't remember it completely. It's the first day you're seeing it. But I want you to look around you and to start to notice it. Okay. What shape is this? It's a flat 2D shape. It has three sides and three corners. It's a triangle. That's right. Remember we said tri means three. Triangle. Three angles. One, two, three corners. Yes, a triangle. And we can look around us and find all different triangles. Maybe some tiles, maybe in a toolbox or maths equipment. Maybe you cut your sandwich into triangles. I do. Maybe today after this lesson you can cut your sandwich into different shapes. Triangles, squares. I wonder if you can cut your sandwich into a circle. What do you think? <laughs> There's a challenge for you. Okay, now we are going to learn about the box shape that matches a triangle. This is just for fun. And once you know it, you'll see it everywhere. This is called, remember we said these box shapes. What's the special word in grade one for a box shape? A prism. So this is a type of prism, and look what shape it's got on the edges. A triangle. Can you guess what shape this is? Triangular prism. Wow! Isn't that cool? And if you look around you, I bet you'll start to see it everywhere. Have you noticed a tent is in the shape of a triangular prism? What about the roof on your house or outside? might be in the shape of a triangular prism. Isn't that cool? The world is full of shapes, even if you didn't notice, now you know. Okay, we're going to play a game called Guess the Shape to end off this lesson. And I'm going to explain a shape to you and then you try guess what it is. Okay, are you ready? This shape is perfectly round and it's a 2D shape. What is it? So cool, did you get it? Let's try another one. This shape is round, it can roll, and it's a 3D shape. What is it? A sphere. Good. If you said a ball shape, that's fine. You're absolutely right. What about four straight sides, 
four corners, two long sides, two short sides, and it's a 2D flat shape. Hmm, what can it be? Rectangle. Well done. Let's do some more. Oh, this one's a 3D shape. It has six sides, and the sides are not all the same. Hmm, so it can't be a cube because the cube has sides that are all equal, the same. What has six sides and the sides are not all the same and it's a 3D shape? Yes, a rectangular prism. You could have said just prism, that's true, it is a prism. Or you could have said a box shape, that's fine, that is what it's called as well. We've learned a new fancy name called rectangular prism. You can use that if you can. Let's try another one. This one's a 3D shape. It slides and all six sides are exactly the same. Hmm, it's a cube. Very good. We knew as soon as they said the sides are the same, we knew it was a cube. Hey, you can also call it a prism or a box shape is fine. The fancy name is cube. Last one, four straight sides, four corners, Four equal sides and it's a 2D shape. Hmm. Four, four, equal, 2D shape. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's a square. <laughs> yes, it's a square. Well done, everybody. That was so much fun. I hope that's just made you excited about shapes. Maybe you remember some of the fancy words. Maybe you just enjoy looking at the shapes all around you. Enjoy cutting up your lunch into some different shapes and I wish that you could tell me all about it. Why don't you download the activity that I've prepared for you all about shapes. Thank you for joining me at this lesson sponsored by Worksheet Cloud. I hope to see you again soon.